Hey guys, this is the Airbnb where I stayed in the countryside in Mandeville, Jamaica. It's a beautiful place, very quiet. It's in the countryside, tucked away in the hills near Mandeville in the parish of Manchester. This uh, Airbnb boasts hot water, cold water, however you like to take your shower. It has Wi-Fi, it has cable TV, full amenities. So beautiful. If you're interested in learning more about this Airbnb, please leave a comment in the comment section. It's approximately four to five acres and it has a lot of wildlife. Yesterday I saw goats that came onto the property. I think they were the neighbor's goats and uh, sometimes they just come up through here and uh, munch on the grass. Isn't it beautiful? I can just feel the cool breeze. Do you see the breeze? On the trees. This property sports uh, a rooster, a hen, chickens. Hopefully we'll start getting some eggs soon. It has a lot of fruit trees, mango trees. You can actually just go up and pick mangoes. It has a beautiful garden with lots of flowers, exotic plants. Just look at that. It's going to build a fish pond and a gazebo. Once the gazebo is finished, people will be able to come out, play dominoes, hang for the evening. He's just in the process of finishing the gazebo. And this is where the fish pond is going to be. That's the water well. So it's a little bit of living off grid. It's very nice, but it's also a lot on grid also. So you see the beautiful flowers? Nice. So that's the Airbnb over there. He just built an addition. So come walk with me. I'll show you the vegetable garden. So this is the little walkway where I had my little meditation sessions in the morning from time to time. You see how beautiful the flowers are? So if you're looking for something a little bit off grid, to be in nature, to be able to heal, meditate, reflect. This is the place for you. So here's the little uh, vegetable garden going on here. It's cooking kalaloo. There's pumpkins. There's scotch bonnet peppers right over there. You see that? There's banana plants. There's plantains on the trees over there. So come take a walk with me. I'll take you a little bit up in the hills and I'll show you the mangoes on the tree, trees and the jackfruit if there's any left. I showcased the video of some of the uh, workers picking out on the jackfruit. It was actually quite funny. Um, so I didn't initially stay here, but I ended up spending the remainder of my trip here um, because I wanted to try something different and it was well worth it. The gentleman that owns the place, he's very kind, he's very nice, he's very accommodating. If you're interested in excursions, that could be arranged through some uh, contacts and local taxi drivers. Look how beautiful that is. Who wouldn't want to... See, I said that's where the fish pond is going to go. So he's just in the process of finishing that up. So even the fish will have their place here. So uh, just going up into the hills here. I don't know if you can see. There's a couple mango trees up there. He just goes up in the mornings and he picks his mangoes. Sometimes he goes up and he cuts down a couple hands of bananas to make plantain porridge or banana porridge. 
there's plantains too on the property. So this kind of vacation is not for everyone, but if this is up your alleyway, definitely leave a comment in the comment section. And for guys of you that are new, um, I'm just vlogging my uh, experiences here on the island of Jamaica. If you haven't already subscribed and the content resonates with you, subscribe, give it a thumbs up and share the video. That would be greatly appreciated. I'd be able to put out more content for you uh, when I come back to the island. My days are just winding down and I'm getting ready to go back to my homeland of Canada. I'm sad to leave, but everything is just a moment in time. So guys, if this video interested you and you enjoyed the content, subscribe, support the reel, give it a thumbs up and share the video. The mango trees are all the way up there. I don't have my boots on, so I don't want to go and walk in the bush because I don't know what's in the grass. I don't want any ticks to get on me. I'm just wearing my little flip-flop sandals. And um, I don't want to go up there and uh, injure my foot. So guys, I'm going to sign off now. Thanks for the support. Thanks for the likes. And thanks for the shares. Take care. Have a good one.